Thanks for watching my video. Today we are going to discuss about the Riemann zeta function. So today I'm going to just introduction only, okay? So the Riemann zeta function or the Euler Riemann zeta function. Uh, why Euler come first is that the Euler was the first to study this zeta function, okay? And zeta of s is a function of complex variable. So we will study um, in the future, okay, about complex analysis, okay. And S that analytically continue the sum of the Archelet series. This, so this is the Riemann zeta function, okay. Definition: Zeta of S is sum from n equal to one to infinity, one upon n to the S. And here you have to know that the real part of S is greater than one, meaning, and this S is can be complex okay complex variable so a is equal to del plus i t so so this must be greater than one so meaning the rear part of s is greater than one so if the rear part of s is equal to one so this or Riemann zeta function will be will, will not converse okay it will, it will be diverse divergent series so that's why we put here and this one or Riemann zeta function will be converse when the real part of S is greater than 1 so this one right and more general representation of zeta function for or S are given so the Riemann zeta function play a pivotal rule in analytic number theory so Riemann zeta function play a rule in now analytic number theory and application in physics probability theory and applied statistics so first of all uh, let me explain about analytically continue okay or analytic continuation analytic continuation is a technique from a branch of math core complex analysis okay if you study complex analysis you will know about analytic continuation and or uh, used to extend the domain over which a complex analytic function is defined okay uh, so here example a love that is this one sum from k equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k plus 1 upon k z minus 1 to the power k here at z equal to 1 this will be in 0 right so So now as a function of real variables meaning here we say that S is a complex right complex variable but Riemann uh, no Euler was the f first to study in of this series but in not complex okay in his study uh, Euler study this Riemann zeta function for only real number okay so as a function of real variables Euler first introduced and study it in the first half of the 18th century without using complex analysis okay so without using complex so which was not available at the time meaning at the time of Euler there there's not there is no complex analysis at that time okay so and bernhard riemann in 1859 article on the number of prime less than a given magnitude so in this article okay on the number of prime less than a given magnitude riemann introduced that so extend the euler definition to a complex variable you no know? prove it meromorphic continuation and functional equation and meromorphic continuation and analytic continuation we will study in our uh, next okay here i write some of them and establish a relation between each zeros and the distribution of prime number here in the last video we study about this one right zeta of 2 is pi square over 6 zeta 4 is pi 4 over 90 and this is called euler Euler product okay zeta of s is 
uh, the product of prime number meaning this will be only prime 1 minus 1 upon p to the minus s and p is a prime number and again relation between uh, Riemann zeta function and eta function okay so zeta of s is 1 upon 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus s eta of s so all this we study in our previous video on this uh, Euler first study uh, uh, for even number okay Com uh, Riemann zeta function of even number is for real number for real part so he study and come come up with this okay and zeta of 3 is a core Aperi constant so so zeta of 3 is first study uh, by Aperi Aperi this is a famous mathematician so and he proved that zeta of 3 is ira irrational okay irrational in is irrational so this is just the introduction part okay for Riemann zeta function so we will discuss further about Riemann zeta function in our next video thanks